Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be talking about my absolute favorite affordable slash drugstore products. Some of these you guys will know from my previous videos, but I think others, there are a few that kind of like underrated products that you may have not heard that much or anything ever about. I'm going to be talking about them as I put them on my face. First thing I'm gonna mention are these brushes and these are from the brand Vanity Planet. They have a 15 piece brush set that comes in like kind of a traveling carrying case like this. It's good if you do like to store them in something like this or you just travel a lot. Um, I just keep them in a mug. I've mentioned these before on my channel. I actually use these brushes every single day, especially this like kind of powder blush brush, this foundation brush, and the like eyeshadow brushes. It's so affordable, especially for what you get. Like I said, there's 15 brushes. Basically your whole basic Set. Even though the regular price of this is $100, they often have like huge sales. Um, right now it's 70% off with the code brush set nine. So I'll leave that down below. So that takes this $100 set down to only $30 and that's insane because that works out to what like $2 a brush and they are amazing quality. Minimal shedding just, I don't know, they're just great brushes and they need to be washed because they are very well loved. So the first amazing product that I'm going to mention is this NYX Color Correcting Liquid Primer and this is in the blue shade. They have a variety of different ones for different skin concerns and things like that. This one is blue and it's meant for pale skin. It kind of just like brightens your face and takes away any like sallowness. So basically what I like to do is just like take a little dab of this because I don't like too much of it. It's very creamy consistency and I prefer something a little more mattifying. So I just like mix it in with whatever moisturizer that I'm using just to like give it kind of like a blue tint. As you can see, it kind of gave like a brightening effect. And if you would use this by itself without diluting it with moisturizer, it would be like even more intense and like super porcelain. So anyway, love this fine. The next thing is foundation. And the two that I want to mention are one, this Rimmel BB Cream. This is in the shade Very Light. It is a very hydrating, but it doesn't feel too greasy on the skin. If you just like very light coverage, then I think you would really like this. Um, definitely pale enough for my fair skin as you can see. So the other one I want to mention and the one that I'm going to be using is for if you like more of like a medium coverage. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. I have the shade 10 Porcelain Ivory. This is one of the only foundations that I have found that doesn't oxidize. Like it actually dries like the same color that is in this tube and this is actually pale enough for my skin which is very rare from the drugstore. Um, plus it just gives like a really nice like satin matte finish and it lasts pretty long. For concealer, my favorite is definitely the NYX HD uh, concealer. I have it in the shade 01. It's kind of like peachy, but I guess that's all right for covering under eye circles. I just like to use my fingers with this one. Okay, this powder guys, this is the uh, Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder. I have the shade Fair. This is one of the only powders that is like super lightweight and doesn't make me look like cakey. It just like has a very thin coverage. Um, I'm actually not gonna use any today because this foundation is even more matte than I remembered. But if you're looking for like a really cheap powder that doesn't look cakey and is very like thin and still like makes you look more like skin, this is really nice and it doesn't cling to like dry patches or flakes either. Okay, so for bronzer, I think this is something that I've never seen like talked about ever, um, but it definitely deserves some hype. It's the Revlon Bronze Beauty Satin Bronzer. It has like a new, sh it says new shade, so maybe it's just new and that's why no one talks about it. It looks like that. It's just like a really pretty color. I will say like the shade itself is pretty light. Um, but I feel like if you have light to medium skin, like this would be really nice. And it says satin, but there's literally no shimmer whatsoever. It is, looks basically matte, but then when you have it on the skin, there's like a very subtle sheen. I'm using this brush, which I use for any bronzer and blush, like pretty much every time. So for me, I don't like to wear a lot of face products at once, like the whole contour, bronzer, blush, highlight, like that's too many things for me. So if I'm using bronzer, I kind of just contour and bronze at the same time and then I'll slap on some highlighter. 
Um, but on days where I like to wear blush, I'll usually do just, just contour and then just blush. So I'm not gonna wear blush today, but I need to show you guys these two. And this one is the NYX Nude Tude Blush, which is like a gorgeous apricot nude, I don't know, it's just like the perfect nude blush. I love that, just for like giving your face color. And then this is the Essence Silky Touch Blush. Again, this product has like the perfect sheen. No shimmer, no glitter, just sheen. It just is like the perfect pink glow. I just, I love that. Highlighter, this Hard Candy Candle Lit Duo is amazing. Seriously, guys, I love this. It comes in like a deeper duo as well, but this is like the lighter one. This one's kind of like a rosy highlight, and then this one's more stark white. They have a very slight sheen, but honestly, they're mostly matte. They still give you like a glow. They're very interesting, and I've never found anything like it. Even like the Laura Mercier like matte radiance highlighters, like those have a little bit of shimmer in them still. This one got nothing. That's honestly what I like about it. So I'm actually using this brush from the set only because it's like flat and dense, and I find that this product is like kind of hard to the touch, so it's best with like a dense brush or your finger. If you like a natural highlight, you will die for this. And I think it's like five or six bucks. Look at that glow. Without shimmer, it's just, it's amazing. The brow products I'm gonna mention, I don't think you guys will be shocked about. One, Annabelle Skinny Brow, which I'm sorry, I think might be only available in Canada, but if you are in Canada, you're in luck. Um, and then this is the Essence Make Me Brow. This is kind of like a tinted brow gel. Okay, my favorite eyeshadow products from the drugstore are one, this palette by Wet n Wild, it's the Comfort Zone palette. And they're all shimmery, kind of sparkly shadows, but they're just really special. I really love them all. Um, this blue, can we just talk about that, like, blue-brown shift for a second? This is a really nice, like, uh, satin bronze shade. This is a really nice color as well. The only color that I'm disappointed in is this, like, kind of reddish-brown down here because it actually comes off gray. It doesn't really look that red, but... Honestly, this is worth like the five bucks that it is. It's just gorgeous. The other eyeshadows that I love are the NYX eyeshadows, especially the matte ones. This is a really nice color. This is called Dance of the Tides, which is like kind of a matte burnt brown shade. So this is the one that I'm gonna be using today. I'm thinking that I'll go with the smaller kind of crease brush. And for me, I like to apply matte shadows just all over my lid. Now I'm gonna take like the larger eyeshadow blending brush, and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this bronzy, kind of shimmery satin shade, just to go over it a little bit and just blend. For lashes, I think a lot of you guys thought I was gonna say L'Oreal Voluminous Original, which is hands down one of my favorites. I really wanted to give a shout out to this one because it is a new one that I've been trying that I've been reaching for like even more than my L'Oreal Voluminous Original and is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. So the Lash Accelerator line has like a couple different ones. I tried like the one in the larger tube that has like a larger brush on it but this one is like a skinnier kind of version and even the packaging is skinnier. This is not quite as clumpy as the L'Oreal Voluminous or like the other version of the lash accelerator from Rimmel but this gives me like very separated lashes and I find that these this mascara actually lasts longer and for lips the NYX lip liner in the shade natural so if you don't have this lip liner it is amazing and I have to say like just in general NYX lip products are some of the best from the drugstore ever like even just like the matte like tube lipstick. There's a shade called Maison, which is like a really dark brick red. And then there's another one called Butter, which is like a 
kind of really pale, cool tone beige nude. But I'm really digging just wearing these lip liners by themselves they're already matte. Hey guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed all the products that I shared and how I applied them. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next, oh, my next video. Bye.